In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a seasonal animation using GIFs from the internet, your company logo or somebody else's logo, and some simple tools from Adobe After Effects. Also, is it is it GIFs or GIFs? I I I guess it's GIFs. If you're new to the channel, my name is Camilo and this is DK21 Media, the place where I teach you how to step up your video production in the simplest and easiest way possible because I am a lazy producer and I just want things done now. Enough faffing, the first thing that you will need is the company logo you want to animate, some seasonal GIFs that you find from the internet, you will need some sound effects to make your visuals come to life, and you need a simple idea for your animation, nothing too complicated. I want the animated part of the symbol to turn into a pumpkin that scares the text of the logo. I'm going to show you a simple way to make the text look scared without any crazy, crazy effects. So let's open up After Effects and start a new composition. We're going to make it 720 by 720. Mine is going on Instagram and I want it to take up as much real estate on the platform as possible. We'll firstly import everything into the composition like we want it to make a story and then we'll add some effects afterwards. The company I'm doing it for already has a GIF in the logo, yours doesn't have to. If it has a symbol, that will be perfect, you don't have to do anything with it. Quick tip, if you do have a GIF and you want to extend it, simply go to the source file, right click, interpret footage, and at the bottom where it says loop, make it something like 20. But I'm going to mask off the animated part of the logo, simply grab the pen tool, draw around the part you want to mask, and it should mask away. I'm going to pre-render this part, simply add it to your render queue, choose QuickTime H.264 and render it out. And now I put the rest of the logo beside it. We're going to add the pumpkin. The pumpkin comes with a background, so to get rid of it, I'm going to search in the effects and presets panel for color key. So if I just type key and scroll down to color key, I can click and drag this into the layer. Now you can key out the color white making the GIF transparent. Now you can flip it and align it where I want it to be. Now that I'm here, to make the monster text look scared, we're going to click on the drop down arrows on the layer. And we click on the drop down arrows next to transform and we're going to find skew and skew axis. Right before we want it to get scared, we're going to hit the keyframe clock to start a keyframe and we are going to change the skew axis to 96 degrees. Make the skew zero at the starting point and when we want the text to look scared we're going to increase the skew to 70 and simply do the opposite when we want the text to come back to normal and the last thing i'm going to do for the pumpkin is to actually right click and freeze the last frame so that when the pumpkin comes back it doesn't immediately disappear i'm going to add my next gif and it's the lightning gif the flash is going to be a transition point where the logo is going to change to a more festive looking color I'm going to add the new logo now and I'm going to align these to change right where the flash occurs. Now let's add some text saying something like happy Halloween and we're pretty much almost done. Now we're going to add an adjustment layer and we're going to search in the effects and presets tab for glitch. Now let's find the point where we want the logo to change to the pumpkin. Turn the keyframe on for the master amplitude, set it to zero before increase it where you want it to change and then set it back to zero afterwards. Then we can align it to make sure that it looks just perfect. Also, you don't really have to use the glitch effect. After Effects has so many other effects that you can use. There are blurs, there are shakes, there are flashes. All you really want to do is transition one change from the other with some sort of effect. And now if you play it, it looks really, really good. I'm quite happy with how it looks, to be honest. So now we're done with the visuals, let's add some sound design. I'm not a big fan of using audio in After Effects, so I'm going to add this to render queue, export it, and open up Premiere Pro, where we will add our sounds. Now I'm on Premiere Pro. When adding your sounds, make sure that every effect emphasizes something that is visually going on. So as you can see, I have some lightning, so I'm gonna add some lightning effects. I have a glitch, I'm gonna add a TV glitch sounding effect. I love this part because you can get so creative with it. Make it festive, make it fun. At the end of the day, it all depends on your animation goal. Oh, by the way, I have a free sound pack on my website that will put in the description below. Now we have something that looks like this. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
nice and festive and short and really really easy you just leverage the wealth of free gifs that exist on the internet of course that you can use within copyright laws so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something and i left anything that i talked about in the video in the description below i also have a link to my kit where you can see all the hardware and equipment that i use for videos that i make i also put a link to monster outdoor who i made the animation for so thanks for watching see you later